session of the HAS series and I'm going to start with something basic which is epidemiology, the cornerstone of public health. So let's start with what's epidemiology. There have been uh, several definitions of epidemiology since the term was introduced. However, the one which is considered to be comprehensive and used for majority of studies is the one given by John M. Last in 1988. The, the definition really seems to be quite long, but it is simple to understand if we break into components. So what I'm going to do now is, I'm first going to give you all the definition of epidemiology, and then we'll break up into components, and let's look at examples of what each component in the definition means. So what's epidemiology? It is defined as the distribution and determinants of health related states or events in specified populations and the application of this study for the control of health problems. So what does this all mean? Let's start one by one. So when we talk of distribution of the disease, what do we include in that? So distribution essentially involves one more D. So one is the distribution itself and the second is disease frequency. So let's look at what is distribution of a disease. The distribution of the disease means describing a disease in terms of time, place and person. So this is quite simple to remember. T, P, P, that is time. When does the disease occur in a year? Whether it occurs seasonally or whether it is present throughout the year or it occurs only during specific months of the years. Next, P is the place. So we look at which geographical area is specifically affected by the disease. And last is the person. So who are the people affected? Whether they are children, whether they are older adults, or it's affecting all people across all ages, whether males are affected more or females are affected more, or what is the ethnic group which is affecting more, affected more by um, the disease. So this is what we call as the distribution of the disease in terms of time, place and person. Next, we look at what is the disease frequency. Now this is an aspect which is quite important and relevant when we talk of a disease in terms of whether it is increasing or it is decreasing. So when we talk of disease frequency, we talk of how many people have been actually affected by the disease. So in other words, we call it as a count. Now we can have several different indices like rates, ratios, proportions in order to measure a disease which we will look at in another session. But today just to touch upon when we describe a disease or we call as distribution of the disease we talk of distribution in terms of time, place and person as well as the count how many people actually have been affected by disease and to help with this we have the field of biostatistics chipping in in order to make calculations and conclude what are the results. Um, next, we move on to the next B in the definition that is determinants. The word determinants literally means factors associated with the disease. Now these factors have been classified again as either positive factors or as risk factors or factors which are associated with the disease which may enhance the ability of the disease to affect the human being. Now, so we have seen in the definition that we have got distribution and determinants. I have been speaking now about only the word disease, but if you look at the definition, it also involves health related states or events. Now, what is this health related states? When we talk of health related states, it doesn't necessarily mean a disease. Disease is one of the health related states. However, we look at other conditions which may affect our health either in a positive manner or a negative way is what we call as a health related state. Let's give an example of this. Now, we know that this problem of obesity has been increasing worldwide. Now, this being obese is considered to be a health related state. Now, people may argue that obesity is a disease. If you look at literature now, it says that obesity is a disease. But actually speaking, obesity itself is not the thing which causes, which is not a disease. However, if we consider obesity as 
and a state which if a person is having might be predisposed to suffering from a disease and that's why obesity is an example of a health related state okay. the next thing is what are health related events the best example of talking about health related events is accidents and injuries so a person who is healthy but suffers from an accident or an injury cannot be considered as deceased but definitely that person is considered to be associated with a health related event right so the next part of so we have covered till now what are the components of the definition health related states events and next we move on to when we talk about this epidemiology we talk about in specified population so we have to talk about the population in which we are specifying the distribution and the determinants study done in one population may not relate to or may be completely different from a study done in another population so whenever we do a study and we describe it we have to speak about in what population this study has been done and that's why in the definition we have the words specified population this was the first part of the definition wherein we talked about the distribution of the disease in terms of time place and person factors associated with the disease and or the health related state or event and now we move on to having known all this how are we going to apply this knowledge of ours to the control of health problems which may be occurring in the community so the main purpose of epidemiology is to talk about the distribution the determinants the disease frequency and finally about application of all this knowledge to control the problem in a way is necessary so that's all for me today and i just want to make a point please subscribe to our channel and do let me know what your comments are thank you very much for the first session of hassles see you later